fine. You can go look at the bog. Go I want to go look at the cranberry bog. Is that okay, Mom? Yeah, it's fine. I wish you would get back from your kids, my friend. Look at this. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Rome, and today we're at the Cuts Brothers Farm to see how cranberries are harvested. Look at this. It's tractors rolling. It's people's got leaf blowers, I think that's what that is. It's blowing cranberries is crazy. We're going to see how these cranberries are harvested. We're going to get in the bog, do all that fun stuff. And we're going to take some cranberries back to the Lish Kitchen and make something fire. Exactly, I don't know yet. But this, I know this. This is Farm the Kitchen. Farm the Table. I guess I didn't know that. This is Farm the Table. This is what we call a bog, all right? Not a bong, a bog. I can't, I cramp with you right now. I cramp. Oh my God. You know who should have got that Emmy? Brian Cranston. I think he did get it too. I'm gonna get in now, I'm gonna jump in. There's bugs in there. I'm not worried, There's listen. so many bugs. I ain't never scared, I'm ready for it. If frogs though, that's probably different. I might be a little bit scared there of frogs. There are absolutely frogs in there. I see something breathing right there. You see that little Stop air it. bubble? Look at that. What is it? I don't know. All right, and now we're about to go meet Sean. He's the farmer of this beautiful land right here. And we're gonna see what harvesting is like. We're gonna get in there, get wet, get real wet. Do I keep going? Yeah. Okay, it's a lot of walking here. Sean, what's going on, dude? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our cranberry farm. You can see we've got some cranberries here on the water. Hello, cranberry. We'd love to give you the chance to get out into the bog and put on some waders and see what it's like to be a cranberry farmer. I'm ready to lead the way to the waders. All right, let's go. Let's move. In your experience, should I go bigger? What's the vibe? Uh, I would do the 12. Let's see. I'm going to look like Catwoman in the other one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want to find the front of the boot, and then you just want to step into it, take your foot out of your shoe. Oh, man. Step in. I don't got good balance. And then take your other, I can, I can help you. And then once your feet are in, pull the rest of the way up. Easy as that. Easy as that. Look at the, the swag, too, you know? That crayon colored sweater. You like it? I like it. Too much? Exactly right. I can see my butt crack. Hold on. <laughs> we don't want that on camera, so okay. That's that's not what we want. Alright, so. Yep. So we're just gonna take these off. Ugh. Get in there. I'm just afraid of touching the dirt really, honestly. The dirt won't hurt you. Alright. Get up in there. I feel like I'm getting ready for school or kindergarten. Or <laughs> for all my thick boys out there. Here we go. How are you guys feeling? Good. You ready to go? I'm ready to go, I'm suited up. I feel very secure. No water's penetrating. Penetrating me, okay? <laughs> He's like, where'd you get this guy? <laughs> this way, Rome. I'll let you do that for us. So come on in. I feel like I'm walking the plank. Give me a hand if you want to live. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. And look, I'm gonna step over. Yep, bro. step over. Ugh. Look at that. I'm getting baptized in these cranberries right here. Okay. <laughs> Cold. Cold chili on your legs? A little tight suction. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling right now. All right, and you know what time it is. Y'all gotta get in here. Let's go. <laughs> time for the rest of you. We're in the bog. I've never been in the cranberry bog. Shocking. Tell me a little bit about it. What is a cranberry bog? Cranberry bog is actually dry during the growing season. And then we begin to flood it. Mm -hmm. And we'll flood it just above the level of the vines. And at that depth, the berries are attached to the vine still, but they're trying to float free. So if you took a cranberry and popped it open. So you got four little air pockets right there. Right. And so that's what makes a cranberry float, which is very important to the process. So after we've flooded the bog to a certain level in order to pick it, the berries are trying to float free from the vines. And so then we take our picking machine down into the bog. The picking machine has a reel on the front that spins around and it just knocks the berries loose from the vines and then they float to the surface of the water. And so after that's done, then we'll put more water into the bog so everything can float nice and free. Then we gather it in with the boom, which is what the, the yellow that you see encircling us right now. So our tractors will start at the opposite end of the the bog and drive in opposite directions and just circle the bog and then pull everything into a tight corner like we are standing in right now. What we'll do then is we have a, a big pump and we'll suck the berries in the water 
out of the bog up into the truck. They'll go up into a tank where they'll float through some fingers. It'll grab grass and because uh, all this little debris. Yeah, any of the little debris them. that's in the bog, and then they'll they'll tumble down some some grates and more of the leaves and other stuff will will uh, be washed through the grate, and then it'll just be. Uh, clean cranberries at the bottom and they go into a funnel and then an elevator takes them up and dumps them into uh, the truck and then the truck goes on to ocean spray and then they process it into cranberry juice the cranberry sauce pre-made in the cans and just a fresh cranberries frozen cranberries right yes they take the, the berries from there and turn it into all the good good things that we love to eat all right so how long have you been a cranberry farmer i believe our family grew its first cranberry in 1901 my birth year. <laughs> yeah. That was like a spider or something, I think. I don't know. I, Can just, talk about this I, I destroyed it before I could see what it was. Can you please just tell him what's in this bog right now? So in this bog, cranberries, obviously, but mm -hmm. probably every tiny little creature that you can imagine also uh, is floating on top of this, uh, these cranberries. So there are a few spiders and bugs around here, but uh, they're pretty friendly. Okay. and uh, they, they won't hurt you. So yeah, I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs> so our family started in 1901. Uh, I'm a fourth generation grower. So currently right now we have members of the third, fourth and fifth generation working full time uh, on the farm. We've been uh, members of Ocean, the Ocean Spray Cooperative since 1948. What a lot of people don't know about Ocean Spray is that it, it is a cooperative, it's owned exclusively by the 700 family cranberry farms across the United States and Canada. We work together to grow our fruit and then Ocean Spray takes it and turns it into all the products that you see in the supermarket. I think my favorite cranberry Ocean Spray product is probably chocolate covered craisins. Mm. I don't think you can beat them. Me, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I love the canned cranberry, cranberry sauce, the jelly, you slice it. Beautiful thing, easy. Happy Thanksgiving! You know what I mean? My mom would make all these other things, but cranberry sauce, you pop the can open, slice it, you're done. And cranable. <laughs> I try, I try. Approximately, how many cranberries would you, if you can guesstimate, that we're standing in right now, that we're about to harvest? Millions. Yeah. I, I have no idea. I can tell you approximately how many pounds we have floating on the water right here. I would guess we probably have between 60 and 70,000 pounds of cranberries floating on the water right now. Our overall crop for our entire farm, if you added all our bogs together, probably uh, around on average 20 million pounds of cranberries oh God, that we grow cool. every year. And you know what's crazy? I heard is the fact that America's here in the US, we eat over 80 million pounds of cranberries just for the week of Thanksgiving. It's a fast crazy. I'm gonna try one of these. Is that is it is it safe to try one of these? Yeah, right? it's safe yeah. to eat it. I mm -hmm. would I would say uh, brush the leaf off it and and whatnot, but then just pop it in your mouth and we'll see what you think. I'm just gonna pop it straight up. Very tart. Ooh. But I like it though. I'm not mad at it. You wanna try it's one sour. with me? It's tart and sour, and that's the vibe straight up. That's the that's that's all the vibes I'm getting right there. Just don't give me a spider. You might become Spider Woman. No. You don't want no. that. Oh. Uh huh. I'm gonna eat another one. That's pretty good. It is uh -huh. Sour. We could spend all day in here doing that. What do you love about cranberries? Why don't you tell me now? Cranberries, they're a super fruit. Uh -huh. Super healthy. Uh, lots of health benefits to cranberries. So you know, I got to say that's another thing I love about cranberries. It's a beautiful thing. This is beautiful. I love being here with you. This is like so glad you could be here to share this experience. This is a lot, something a lot of people don't get to do. That's and, a fact. Uh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Hey. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. What's the next step right now? All right. So right now we're gonna suck these cranberries out of the bog, up into the cleaning truck, and onto Ocean Spray. So what you can do, we'll get you a paddle. You can help us direct the cranberries into the into the pump and uh, see what it's like to be a cranberry farmer down in the water. I love it. Let me get that rake. All right, let's do it. This is a paddle, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just push the cranberries towards the, the pump, which is in the middle of that yellow Just uh, in that vicinity area. Pusher. Directly underneath of that is where the suction pan is uh, for the pump, where the cranberries are gonna get pumped out of the bog and up into the truck. I told them, don't let them suck me in. It's just my sweater. <laughs> you match perfectly to this bog. Oh! 
That's crazy. Not okay. I got a lot of spiders on your back. Can you help me out, anybody? <laughs> you want to help me out? <laughs> they know I'm sweet. Listen, I'm not okay. <laughs> not okay. Why are you shaking like that? Calm down. <laughs> That was an experience right there. Felt like I came out a new man. Now that you've been in the bog, let's wet. go. Yeah, wet. Let's go take a look at what a cranberry looks like on the vine so you can see what it looks like before it gets to this stage. Let's do it. So let's go. So Rome, this is what a bog looks like before we flood it. Uh, to harvest. Maybe I can show you how my ancestors harvested fruit before the wet harvesting method was developed. I love it. This is a cranberry scoop and the way it works is you run the teeth through the cranberry vines and then pull back and the berries will end up inside of here and then these are the boxes that the cranberry harvesters used to use as they would scoop. So they would scoop all day, back breaking work, and fill up boxes just like this. How old is this? We started water harvesting in the late 1960s. So it could have, these could have dated, you know, certainly date back that far, if not farther. So uh, we're really doing it old school. Yeah, really, really doing it old school uh, with, the, with the scoop. You think we could do it? We can give it a try. Let's do it. All right. Oh, still wet. You lied to me. Still wet. Yeah, well, we'll find a dry spot over here. And these are the vines, right? Yeah, so these are the vines. Take a look. You can see look lots of cranberries growing. Pull them up. So we'll be harvesting this bog sometime in the next week. Now, the vines are laying a certain direction, and where we're standing, they're all pointed this way. So we have to scoop into the vines. So what we have to do is come over here and scoop this direction. So you don't want to go too deep. You want to just put your, your teeth in just a couple inches below the top of the vines, scoop straight and pull back. Oh, wow. See, and then you've got- You got some cranberries right there. That is so cool. Once you get fast at it, you can, you can just one. do multiple scoops mm -hmm. uh, in a row. It's like and homie Yeah, hair. almost fill this up with, you know, several, several uh, scoops. So give it a try. Oh yeah. It's like a groove you get into. Yep. Yeah. So then once you get it full, come over here. Hey, not bad. So you're going to be able to make some delicious stuff out of that many cranberries right oh, yeah. there. It's been a long day. We're going to need some sandwiches after this. I'm sure you're going to do some amazing things with these cranberries. I got, I got something in mind for these, for sure. Sean, this has been truly amazing. This was a bucket list thing I had on my, I didn't even know I had on my bucket list. <laughs> we really appreciate you coming out. Thanks I so much. You, and uh, looking forward to what you're gonna do with those cranberries. Cranberries all year round. I already know what I'm gonna make. I could take this me, right? This is all me right here? Yeah, that's all you. That's that is all, all you. Right Look at that. That's bounty. I'm gonna take it to Cram Mobile to whip, Cram Colored Rip. That's a mouthful to say. <laughs> and we're gonna get out of here, right? All right, thanks I again, Rome. You. Yep. Take care and enjoy. Thank you, dude. All right, we are back at the Delish Test Kitchen. We just got back from the Cuts Brothers Farm. Shout out to them. Shout out to Ocean Spray. Got these beautiful fresh cranberries here. And I'm going to show you guys what to do with them. If you have any leftover or if you're just making some cranberry sauce. And with that sauce, I'm going to be making some French toast, fire, danky French toast. It's beautiful cranberry. Mm -hmm. You're a beautiful cranberry. Thank you. You know what they say, uh, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, and a core from that, I'm going to give you some fun facts about cranberries, all right? Did you know there's only a few states in the United States that actually grow cranberries, all right? Let's see if I can remember this as Jeopardy screen, all right? How to be a millionaire, whatever that show was. We got Oregon. We got Washington. We got Massachusetts, we got Wisconsin, and New Jersey. Where we were! Yes. Yeah! Like I can't forget New Jersey. I should have said that first. And also, cranberries, look at these, look at that. These are 90% water. You saw me bust it open. They got little, these little four uh, air holes here. This helps them float in the bog. And uh, when you're making cranberry sauce and you're adding liquid, especially with any recipe, especially with this one, these are high in pectin, right? Pectin helps things get thicker when you're talking about jams and things like that. So with this, if you want it to be a little bit more saucy, 
than cranberry sauce in general. You can adjust with water, taste, add a little bit more sugar, this, that, and the third, all that good stuff. All right, now I'm gonna show y'all what to do with y'all leftover cranberries, because you will have leftover cranberries, because over 96% of first-time Thanksgiving hosts just be having hella cranberries around, whether it's for decorations, for sauce, whatever. You'll have some, all right? And I'm gonna show you what to do with it. So let's do it. You know what? I'm incredibly excited for this recipe. You were holding that one. You're holding that one in. Uh, you know what? This is. Let's stop procrastinating and let's get to the to the sauce. All right. Mine was better. Yours was better. That was a stretch. I reached for that one, and I got a hammy. I pulled the hamstring. I don't know. Let's do it. We got some cranberries right here, some white sugar, some red wine, and the zest and the juice of one of these big, thick navel oranges. I would go with navel because that's just what I do, it's just better, just better. Don't ask me why. So the first thing we're gonna do is pour these cranberries into the pot. The second thing we're gonna do is zest this orange up. We're gonna use all the zest on this. It's like giving an orange a haircut, shaping it up and making sure you don't miss a spot. Some people don't know how to zest. And this is true, this is a fact. What I do, they say a lot of pastry cooks do this, but I turn my microplane upside down like that instead of doing that. And I'm moving, I'm keeping this still, but I'm just moving this. This flavor, this is gonna bring you winter vibes, winter flavors, citrus. Winter is for lovers and for citrus. Look at all that, beautiful. Now I'm gonna swipe this in. We're gonna cut it in half and juice it. Now we're gonna squeeze all this juice into this pot. If it has seeds, these oranges, you can just pick it out from the pot. You don't have to have a heart attack, but these should be good. Should I not block you? Oh God. Wait, you got it on my lens. You see that? Well, you wanna get all that. Cranberries are hella tart, so you want some sweetness. It looked like hella sugar, like I'm making some, some Kool-Aid, but it's okay. We're just gonna put it all in there. It'll even out. And then we also got some red wine. Look at this. That was a good sound. That was. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna hit it up, probably like halfway, and then we'll see what's happening after that. Then we're gonna turn this on medium heat. And we're gonna let this cook down. And what you're looking for is you want this to start bubbling and you'll start to see some of these uh, cranberries kind of explode a little bit. We're gonna help the process too with a little bit of, with a little fork right here. We're just gonna bust it up. All right, facts, facts time again. All right, did you know that cranberries are one of the few fruits that are native to North America? America, not America, America Americans in America, okay? Fun fact right there. I can't, I can't believe it. I cr yeah, she can't cramp believe it, I cramp believe it. So we're just letting this heat up. And we're gonna let this cook down for a bit, let some of those berries start to explode, and we're gonna help it out too by smashing it with a, with a fork. And that's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a few minutes. But while you're waiting for this to do its thing, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Lish YouTube channel and website, you know? Because we all need to have a livelihood. So it's very important. Look at this, it's busting, it's bubbling, and some of these are already cracking. You can see what's going on right there. So what we're gonna do, like I said before, is we're just gonna, gonna turn this down a wee bit so I don't burn my hand, and we're just gonna squish down. Squish down. This is what's going on at the bottom of the pan when I'm squishing it. It's starting to bust. It's releasing all that goodness in there, that pectin, that ooh la la. This is really farm the table, you know what I mean? Like, I never really thought about cranberry. I never gave thought to cranberries the majority of my life. I was just like, oh yeah, craisins, oh yeah, cranberry sauce. But there's people out there working hard getting this done. And it's a really special, it's a special crop. Changed my life. Now look at this. We're busting, we're moving. Right, what we're looking for is we want all these berries to more or less be broken down and you want this to be th on the thicker side. I don't want it to be too thick where I can't pour it over my French toast. So like I said before, you can adjust with a little bit of water. It's a lot of sugar in here, so taste it. If you think it needs more sugar from you adding water, you can adjust it while it's still hot. But we're just looking for it to be like sauce, pretty much. Like a nice sauce, syrupy vibe, which shouldn't take that long at all. This is it, this is the completed cranberry sauce right there, look at that. It's really thick, really gelatinous. I know some people like their cranberry sauces to be a little bit smoother, they put them through food mills and things like that. But for this recipe and just cranberry sauce for me, I like it a little bit on the chunkier side like this. So adjust to what you what your vibe is, but this is this is all me right there. Oh yeah, do the wiggle. That's Relax. like Jason Derulo. <laughs>
Look at that sticky hot. All right, we're gonna sit this to the side and then we're gonna start working on that orange cranberry French toast. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. Take this away, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just... French toast time, all right? I was inspired to make this dish because during the holiday times, you're going to Trader Joe's, you're going to your local supermarket, you might see some orange cranberry bread. And I love that, I love to eat it. I like to lay down and eat it, all that type of good stuff, all right? That's just my life. So that's 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 where the inspiration came from. So we got some beautiful challah bread right here. The usual suspects for French toast, cream, milk, eggs, sugar, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg. But also, I'm gonna put a little bit of cranberry juice in there. That's right, cranberry juice, to make it crantastic. First thing I'm gonna do is slice this bread. All right, so we don't gotta make this super thick or crazy. I'm just going for that, you know? Something children would eat. That's what we're going for. Beautiful, I'm using holla. Holla if you hear me. And me, I don't do the butts when it comes to bread, so we're just gonna... I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Do what you gotta do. All right, so for this French toast batter, what you're gonna need, some heavy cream, some milk, some eggs, some sugar, some nutmeg, and some cinnamon. And also we got that cranberry juice. And then the zest and juice of one orange. Now I've got this on my camera. No, that's what that's part of the recipe. No. Oh god. Look at that. <laughs> now we're back after five people cleaned up the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm gonna mix this now. Uh, with a whisk, of course. You could use a fork, it's like yo. You know what I'm saying? It's very gently at first. We got the eggs back down there. What I'm doing is that. We got our batter mixed up. We got our cranberry sitting to the side, bread sliced. And you want to set yourself up with a little situation like this, like a dredging station of some sort. So you got your bread. I'm going to go from bread to the joint, mix it around, woo whoop and then I'm going to sit each one right here and let it drip dry, right? You don't want to go in a super soggy French toast into your pan. Nobody, nobody likes that. And you're doing this, it's Thanksgiving morning, you got your cranberry sauce ready, but like people are hungry, they went outside, they walked with their uncle, you know what the vibes is. This is something you can make for breakfast, just a little pregame, some light, okay? <laughs> got everything battered, a little drip dry. We got our pan here, we got some butter. We're gonna start making French sauce, actually cooking it. So I'm gonna turn my heat on to like medium, medium lowish. We're gonna start melting some butter. And then, I guess we could just cut right there. <laughs> you wanna make sure that butter is evenly all over the pan. You're gonna mess up probably if you're at home doing it, but you wanna make sure your butter is hot. If you put like a cold piece of French toast on it, it's wet, it won't just get like a nice seal on it. So you wanna make sure it's nice and warm and hot. It's feeling pretty hot to me. There we go. And let that sit, let it do its thing. Get a little toasty. What I like to do too, is give it a little shake. Move it around a little bit. Just like that. It smells good, it smells like orange and cinnamon and Spices. It smells like Christmas time. It's me waking up in the morning. You know, you put one piece on, all my anime fans out there. Your mom cooking some, some food. This is what it smells like, right? Holiday. I'm really hungry right now, so I'm really cranky. <laughs> cranky. All right, look, I'm smelling something that's smelling toasty. Let's see what's going on. Beautiful. These are getting done. I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit. We're just gonna keep going in batches, pretty much. Are you ready to eat this? I am ready to eat this, folks. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful orange cranberry French toast. You saw me make it, you were there, we were holding hands the whole time doing this. This is it. 
I'm ready. I'm ready to eat this. I'm hungry. Shout out to Ocean Spray. Shout out to the Cuts Brothers. Shout out to Chelsea, Mark, uh, Mary over there. You know what I'm saying? We just vibing here. Shout out to New York. All right, let me eat this. Let me stop. <laughs> New York, I love you. Got a nice acidity from the cranberry. Got that cinnamon, soft, nice custardy French toast. Just lather that up. I don't know what to say when I be eating in these videos. It's good. I do know what to say. <laughs> Wait. Hold. Hold for mouthful. Like and subscribe to the list, all right? I hope y'all try this at home, all right? And if not, you can find mine and many others on delish.com and on the YouTube channel, all right? We got fun stuff going on. Let me know in the comments where should I visit next? What food should I explore, all right? I'm Rome. This is Farm the Table. I love you. Mwah.